I just want to take a brief moment to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you guys prefer to listen to this instead of watching, the show is also available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor. Now let's step into it. When are you going to start talking again? Talking again? Talking again? <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Fidel of Talking Again Podcast. We're here on another edition of the show. My guest this week is Fabiola, Fabiola Gomez. Oh, perdón. She's he already taking over the show. <laughs> she said it. She goes, I'm going to take over your show. And I'm like, no, you're not. It's my show. And then she took over. Yeah. Go for I'm it. Go take for over. it. Fabiola Hi. Gomez. Hello. <laughs> I'm here with Fidel, and I'm going to interview him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, um, uh, we're here because we're going to talk about my recipes and how I got to where I'm at today with my YouTube channels. Yeah. So like, let's just get into it. You mean it started two years ago? It started two years ago. It started because um, my kids, the older and the youngest love to cook. Yeah. And they always call me, how do you make this? And how do you make that? So then the smallest said, just do YouTube channels, mom. She was, um, if you have them, we can watch them. And when you die, we have all your recipes. <laughs> and if we miss you, we can watch you on YouTube. So you kill two um, birds, one stone. Yeah. Oops. So it started from there and um, we started making videos. Yeah. And it just. So now we're at, we're at two years. Uh, 18 videos is what I counted. Yeah. That you guys have um, the video, the video, whole, the whole process of it, though, like walk me through that. Do you, did you did you go the like this your, your first video is a choco flan one right yes did that one did you do everything on your own or did someone just walk you through it help you through it um we did it my son and I did it on our own okay we just I watched a lot of other YouTube channels kind yeah. of to see how they would do it and I just started setting up and he would pause I would clean continue cooking and I think as every um new video came out we learned a little bit more mm. of how to make it or what other people do and it I'm just sure you went learned from about there. yourself too like yourself recording you know in on camera like i'm sure you i did one yeah. I, by myself but it was really hard yeah i did the chile rellenos and um my kids were like mom that wasn't even good quality you have to wait you didn't even do the lighting Me regañan. <laughs> like armando's like on it all the time like you have to do this yeah you, you know he's very specific but um, well, they mean you, well. Well, you think they watch video on YouTube all day long. Like most of them, like they grew up on it. That's their era. You're yeah. Right? The YouTube. Video, that that's is. their era. Like we grew up watching like TV shows, right? Like in, when me, I grew up t watching TGI Friday, you know, like uh, all the shows like uh, Fat Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and all that stuff. Right? Yeah. They don't, the they Brady don't have Bunch. That. Yeah. They you don't know, have they that don't, stuff. No. They, they have internet. They have phones. And we didn't have anything. Yeah. You know? So, um. I'm older, so at the same time, you know, I'm learning how to do yeah. YouTube, and I'm learning how to do the channels and the recipes and and how to do them and where to film and where to look and, you know, and Danny, my youngest, he's the one that does them. He helps me a lot. So. Yeah. When he when you say he does them, does he do all the editing? He does all the oh, editing cool. and the filming. Yeah. You know, oh. we bought a little tripod yeah. and we film, and he goes and he tries new tricks all the time because yeah. like i'm gonna try this and i go do what you want you know yeah let's just have fun and let's just do it that's good that's cool i like that it's a family thing you know like, yeah they like, all support me and yeah. you know they all love me so you say you have three four boys i have four boys four boys yeah damn how was that uh household having to feed all of them when they were younger it was really hectic yeah. you know because they fight a lot they <clears throat> chase each other around the house they were always like you know, I'd go and tell them to clean the room because it was a mess. Yeah. And I'd go in there and I'd open the closet doors and everything would fall out, <laughs> literally, or everything would be under the bed. Yeah. And I'd go under the bed and I would start pulling out everything and they would freak out because I would I was a yeller. Yeah. You know, so I scream at them. But it was fun, you know. Yeah. They would make little videos and skits and they were always into something. So they they already had that idea of like, hey, let's start making videos and stuff. Yeah, you know? I think because they'd always do little performances yeah. and videos and everything. So um, 
I think they they have it in them. Like yeah. you said, they grow up mm -hmm. learning. They already know how to use everything. How was uh how was uh cooking meals for them? Did you guys have a uh, grow up with the dinner time or was everybody sporadically like different it was schedules? Dinner time, all good. You know yeah. because they were all in school, so they would all come home and we'd all sit and eat. Mm -hmm. And that's how it was growing up with uh, my dad. Yeah. You know we didn't have um, TV dinners. We didn't have refrigerated food. Mm -hmm. We didn't even have hamburgers, yeah. you know, only like a weekend or something. Yeah, that was a specialty. But thing, my right? mom cooked all the time too mm -hmm. for us too. So I think that's how we introduced them. Mm -hmm. Like fresh fruits, like always, you know, cooking naturally without having to do like a lot of the frozen meals. So it was it was awesome. How I, important do you think that value of, of having that sit down dinner? Because you, you hear a lot of a lot of families don't do it anymore. You know, like they eat. Well, this one has, I mean, including mine, it's tough to, ask, to actually sit down and eat all at the same time. Yeah. Because it's like, you got to go here, practice here, over here. And like, there's always something. So how important was that for you, I think, you know, I having think, four boys? I think it was very important because we had them at least at that moment. Yeah. You know, and that's when we'd get all of our talking done. And some of them would always be doing something silly. Some of them wouldn't finish their soup, so they'd have to. They he would actually sleep there on the table until oh, yeah? he finished his. That's old school right there, man. That's old school. That's, <laughs> that's how old... I. That's that's how my I, I grew did, up like that. My yeah. dad used to do that to us, you know. And for us, my dad didn't let us have fun around the table. Yeah, it was always sit down and eat. Mm -hmm. You know, in la mesa se come. Yeah, you know, but we'd find a way to make it fun yeah. or laugh or, or something, and my dad would reach out and nos daba soquetazos. <laughs> And the kids did the same thing to us. I think it, you know, it follows along. Yeah. So it, for me, it was very important to have them there all the time. That's I still cool. miss them. You know, if I had a big house, I think I'd I'd have them all live with me. <laughs> yeah. I think that's every every parent's dream. How yeah. they say that, like, oh, I'm gonna build a compound and bring all the kids. I over always here say and, that and move them in. For sure. But no, that I I hope that they carry that same tradition. You know, as, as like that family time because that is important. And that's something that I you know I know. You know, in my household, I want to start doing that where hey, everybody put the electronics away for that one hour at least. You know, like, let's just sit down and have a dinner. You a know? dinner. Because it's important. I'm, I really do hope that they carry that tradition. So do I. Along, for you sure. Know? So, I'm waiting for them to get married. I don't, you know, they're not married or kids yeah. or anything. I'm, they'll get there. You're, don't don't count your, your chickens, right? They say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, let's talk about uh, some of the videos that you actually have on there right now. I mean, well, we'll get into right away. The big video that you have on there has like twenty two thousand views, right? And we were talking about it earlier. It was the uh, the, pozole, the green pozole, the green pozole. Yeah, that one just went viral. Like I think it was it's good because I think a lot of people do it for Thanksgiving and yeah. Christmas, but I wasn't expecting it to go that far. I thought other videos were gonna do that for me. Yeah, but it was the green pozole. Yeah, you know, and that one's also a recipe from one of my aunts from Mexico. You know, I called her. I go, how do you make it? I watched a few YouTube channel pozoles, but I liked hers the best, and yeah. I did it. And yeah, it went viral. Was it trial and error? Were you trying to do other ones, or just you did your answer? I just it? did it. Yeah, that usually happens for me. I don't have to like, um, I don't throw away a lot of food, mm -hmm. you know, because I messed up or because yeah. I didn't or it burned or it didn't. It always kind of works out. Like I can the taste, and I know the seasoning. Mm -hmm. I understand the food. Yeah. You know, so it happens. So for me, it wasn't really that hard. Yeah. Or even when I call my mom for a recipe, you know, she'll tell me from the top of her head, un puñito, like we said earlier, yeah. un puñito de esto y un puñito. Okay, mom, como cuántos un puñito? Tres, cuatro, <laughs> like tell me. Yeah, yeah. You know, and she would tell me, I'd write it down. And then you make it so much that you learn it. It's in your head, mm -hmm. you know, but my kids are like, write it down, yeah. write it down, make yeah. a recipe book. Did, I, and, I, and I didn't even ask you in the beginning, did you go to culinary school at all or any, take any kind of uh, online courses, anything like that? I took or mom courses. Mom courses? <laughs> mom, mom and grandma? Mom courses, yeah. yeah. Um, I think our courses were my mom. Hands know, on. Everything hands on. Yeah. My mom would call us and say, I'm going to have family over, relative. So I'm going to have you do, let's say, a rice. Mm -hmm. She'd tell me how to make it. She'd come home and taste it and say, okay, a esta te le faltó agua. This one you need more salt. And she would tell us, mm -hmm. or Saturday mornings, 
you know, there was no sleeping in for us. Yeah. My dad would wake us up early, like seven o'clock. If your mom's up, you're up. <laughs> you know, get up. We yeah. put on, you know, Selena, the music, and we'd start chopping Selena. away and making the food. And yeah. that, that was our Saturdays. And, you know, at that point in life, I think we thought about it more of as a like a, shore, a chore. Mm -hmm. And now it's more like we want to go back to those moments. Yeah. You know, because we loved the music and we loved hanging out and... My mom was teaching us yeah. without even realizing Without that. realizing that she was yeah. actually doing that. Or maybe she did know. She said that she didn't, you maybe know. Maybe that was her tactic. Yeah, that was her strategy. Yeah. You know? Uh, but when you were when you were making it, like, your first sopa that you made, like, and it didn't come out right, were you were you upset with yourself? How did, how did you feel? Like, I'm not going to do this. You know, this sucks. No. Know? Um, when something doesn't come out, you try to fix it. Mm. You know? You taste it and... My mom says that we have sazon, mm. that we have that yeah. instinct of taste and a feeling of how much it needs. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't come out, it doesn't come out. You start over if you have to. And if you don't, you, if you can fix it, fix it. But if it, if it doesn't, you try again. Yeah. You know, I've tried a few recipes where I've had to throw it out. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not that many. I think it was the, um, how do you, Los Merengues. No, the ones that I like that you buy me at the Spectrum. What are they called? Macarons. The macarons. Macarons. Oh, oh, like the little desserts? Yes. Oh, okay. I love those and they're very expensive. Yeah. So I tried making them once and I tried like three times, I think. Th those are the ones that they sell at Botea Louis or Bottega Louis? Louis? I don't know where they Somewhere they, in like Pasadena, I think. I know they it have. It looks like a cookie, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a round yeah. cookie like What's two like and they, they have there? a filling okay, in the okay. middle, but I know exactly they're kind of chewy but good. Yeah. So I think that's one of the ones that I haven't succeeded. Ah, uh, that's, that's the one. And yeah. then you will see it in one of your videos, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Because <laughs> that's the one that has me always like on my toes. Yeah. So the one that went viral, the pozole, was that the one that got you to that next level? The, that was the it. thousand subscribers yeah it just went bam it took off that's like the the meaning the or the the true essence of a, of a video going viral yeah right? because um i think it was armando my son that called me his mom you're at a thousand like i didn't even realize it and i went in there and it was already like a thousand and three and i was like oh my god like and i went back as i have the um the statistics and oh yeah, for yeah. Your channels mm -hmm. and everything and it was the green pozole, yeah. and I was like, "Wow, that was like the one that I didn't think would take me there." Yeah, you know, because that's the one that had a lot of bad comments. Oh, really? Yeah, like people it has did... like ninety something comments, I think. I yeah, saw. and I reply to all of them. Oh, yeah. You know, even if they're bad, I tell them it's okay. I do too, but I only have like three comments per video, so I'm not. You know, it's not that stressful <laughs> for me. Ninety three comments. That's all. That's but it, it was gradually. The yeah. comments were gradually, but a lot of them were really good, and I don't really have a lot of thumbs down. Oh, it's good. But um, there was this one person that did do a, like, she said it was gross or I don't remember. But yeah. I told her it's okay if it's not for you, move on, go to the next video. Exactly. You know, it, it it's not gonna be for everybody. Yeah. You know, you don't have to like it, all of my videos. It's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna get offended. Yeah. So. You know what I just recently learned, and this is all off topic, but I just you just said thumbs down, that you can't like um your viewers can't see your thumb th thumbs down anymore oh really so you can see it but, but like can't. like i wouldn't be able to see your thumbs down i can only see the thumbs up oh so youtube took that away it's weird right I yeah i didn't even realize yeah, that yeah, yeah i just learned that uh, like two weeks ago oh so anyways well, good to good. know then i have a lot of <laughs> thumbs up you have all thumbs up 100 yeah. percent thumbs up <laughs> but uh what from that video going back to it i'm sure you've watched it already uh, numerous times right like even after like it hit went viral you, wa you went watched i've watched it, it twice and to be honest, I haven't watched a lot of them. I don't like to see myself on camera. I think yeah. it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. But um, they were I'm the saying, same way. I'm the same way. They were saying in order to get um, paid or something that you have to have a certain amount of hours. Oh, yeah. So I turn on my YouTube channel in the mornings and I just let it run. Oh. <laughs> like, I'm going to get all the hours I need. I don't care. I don't need the money or yeah, anything. Yeah. But, you know, I'm just like more thankful for the subscribers yeah you know and it's funny because we we go to places sometimes and people recognize me they'll say oh, oh yeah? you're the you're the girl from the channel from wow. the youtube channel yeah and i'm like wow like i didn't realize i would reach that many people yeah. you know and it's just kind of like weird so again when i asked you about did you watch that channel do you 
in comparison to all your other videos, how do you think that channel or that video, I'm sorry, not that channel, but that video is different than all the other ones? I don't think it's any different than others. I think it's just more like a holiday dish. Mm. You know, that for Christmas, you make tamales and right. you make pozole. Yeah. And I think a lot of people um, probably know how to make the red one, but they don't understand the green one. Like, yeah. how do you get the green sauce? Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that was it a lot. Because the red one's that traditional one that everybody, everybody makes, Everybody right? makes the red yeah. one. And you hardly ever see anybody doing the green one. Mm -hmm. You know, and... In a lot of places, they make the green one only with chicken. Mm. But I don't like it with chicken. I still, you know, go back to the meat, to the yeah, pork. The porco. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what it was. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't even think of any other reason I think, why. I, I remember seeing that one, and that one has, like, you know, the, the editing on it, right? The beginning was, like, the music in there. Like, uh, I don't know if every video starts like that. I've, I've seen them. I don't think they all do. With, with the Probably music. Probably my son plays around with it a lot. Yeah, so I think that one had, like, just to start with, it had, like, that music. It just felt good clicking on it, right? Oh, okay. From the very beginning. And then after that, obviously, the dish itself was, you know, yeah. carries it. I think maybe that was it. Um, Danny, who edits everything, he's the one that always tells him, let's play with your videos, mom, yeah. you know, because I'm going to throw you all the ingredients, try to catch them. Hmm. Or he does different things. And I think maybe, yeah, maybe the music is what yeah. it is. Yeah, it could be. You know, yeah. and also with the the last one that I made with the flautas, I made it in a different kitchen. Right. That was it my was son's different. house. Okay. So everybody said, I don't know what it was, but that video just popped. You know, a lot of people could tell me they really yeah. loved that video. Well, I think his kitchen, if I remember correctly, it's all like white it's and gray. It's all white. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. I think it, it just pops. It's white. It's just. I think I have to. Everything else. Everything. my kitchen. Yeah. 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 Because yours has a lot of color. It's like darker. Yeah. It's yeah. like a dark gray. Yeah. And then the other one, yeah, everything pops. I think if you go back and watch cooking channels like on like Food Network and stuff, I think they all have like white kitchens, right? Believe and, me, and I watch lighting. a lot of yeah, you know, cooking channels. Do you did you when so when you started these, did you like let me do my homework and start watching these cooking channels and see kind of how they do it and see what I can do? I think I've always loved the cooking channels, yeah. the decoration channels, the flipper flops. I like all of the, you know, all of those shows. Yeah. But I did get a lot of inspiration from a lot of them. You know, you yeah. watch a lot of the women that cook and a lot of the chefs and, you know, you see how they act on TV mm -hmm. or how they introduce everything, you know. And right now, for me, it's just doing one plate at a time. Yeah. But I'm hoping to do like, the, you know, a lot of people do the like the whole four course meal. Oh, yeah. You know, so I want to try to get into that. But that is a little bit more trickier, yeah. too. Yeah, like you said, like you have to challenge yourself now. Like you have those thousand yeah. subscribers, so let's let's start going at it and right. trying different things. Um, yeah, that's cool. I I like it. I like again. I like the fact that your kids are involved and you're doing stuff with them and and they're interacting and they're telling you, "Mom, hey, this is how you do it." You know. Yeah. But like that honestly, makes it kind of special, you know. I do get a lot of support. You know, my husband, my kids, my sisters. They're huge supporters. You know, all of my family. Yeah. You know they they all support me. That's good. I get a lot of feedback from them. Yeah, there you go. Let's take a quick little mo little break to um, you know, to shout out to Centenario right here. Yeah, get that's, a sponsor. <laughs> that's that's hooking us up. So shout out. Yeah, <laughs> we're taking um, shots here. Yeah, I have. I actually do have a little chaser for me. So, um, but yeah. Uh, in addition to the YouTube channel, so salute again. Um, you have your salsas, your cookies. Yes. You have um, pastas that you you kind of do like you know a service that you offer. Yeah. How does that work? Or, and did that come before the videos, or is this something that you did after? I I've always done them for like my sister's birthdays and gatherings that we have. I would say, oh, you know, I'll make you this or whatever. And a lot of it is just food that I make for myself yeah. at home. You know, and people started asking, "Do you sell it?" Yeah. And I'm like, I can. Yeah. You know, that's no problem, you know, the um, and then I've had some people, you know, ask me, oh, I'm going to have a party. Can you make this, this and this? I'm like, yeah, I'll make it. And it just went from there. And then the salsas. Also, I make them for my house. But people, why don't you sell it? Why don't you sell it? Yeah. And I started making it and I started selling it and they've been a hit. Yeah. Yeah. You see, Well, you see a lot of people like taking that. Well, they'll do one thing like a salsa or salsas. And they go to these pop ups and they, they just sell and salsa. They sell, that's, that's it. And yeah. they do and they sell because everybody wants that homemade salsa. The How many taste. times do you get that that 
that container of butter and you think it's butter, but it's actually salsa in the fridge, right? Like, right? We all have it. All, everybody all has it, Mexicans. but it's all homemade salsa, yeah. right? So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, it's a, why not? And the one that you have there looks like it's really well, this spicy. One, you know, <laughs> this one came from my grandfather. Okay. It's an that's his recipe. Yeah. And we call it La Salsa este, en Diablada. Uh, and I'm already scared. The Macario. Yeah. So, you know, I used to watch him. He had this like in the, in the house where he lived in the way in the back, he had this like grinder mm -hmm. and it, it, it had like a thing. And then you, you, you um, turn it and you put the chilies to grind them. Oh, okay. And he would make the salsa and I'd watch him make it. He'd never give away the recipe, uh. you know, but my mom knew it. So then I started watching her and that one was trial and error. Like, oh, okay. oh no te salió. Yeah, my yeah. mom, you know, like really yeah. honest, but eventually it started coming out better and everything. And, um, now you got it down to a T. Now I have it good. Yeah. yeah. And that's a habanero? That's not habanero. That's oh. pure chiles um, rojo secos. Uh -huh. Like oh, the, jalape the japoneses. They're called japoneses. Oh, okay. They're little small ones. with You just buy them at the store. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it has sesame seed mm -hmm. and it has some vinegar. Nice. And some other spices. Yeah. You put that on almost everything or any, you know, any kind of dish? Uh, you can put that one on tacos. Mm -hmm. You can put that on pozoles, on birria. Uh, we put it on everything. Yeah. Chips. Put it on everything. Yeah. My favorite was putting tapatio on bagels. And uh, that's another podcast. We'll get into that another day. But um, I can't imagine that on my bagel. So Yeah. So that <laughs> that's a good pretty, morning wake up. You know? And then the other one's just a simple matcha. And this one's, these are pretty easy to make. It has also, I burned the chilies in um, oil. Oh, I've seen these videos. Okay. Yeah, but I had a few other things also that I'm not going to tell you. Okay, secrets. But these are also good with everything. Yeah. You know, we eat it. And you have your own label on there. Well, they just said um, homemade. Oh, okay, homemade. Okay. Homemade just for you. Yeah. But eventually, yeah, I want to get my labels and some business cards out and everything. Yeah. I haven't done any of that. Okay. But hopefully, little by little, I'm going to start yeah. growing. And then the cookies? That's, and that's, the cookies, that's just one of the, the, the desserts that you make. That's one of the ones I make. Um, I also make flan. Mm. I make tres leches también. Yeah. Oh. I make a lot. My grandma, um, that was her thing. She baked. Yeah. So I was able to get a hold of some of her recipes. Ooh, the Bible. Yeah. A lot of them are, you know, written. Oh, wow. That's like old paper. That's yeah. like original. So these are original. Yeah, yeah. These are the ones that you steal. <laughs> Those are the ones that you either steal or they get left behind for you right in a wheel. Yeah, because all of, look at, these are all like oh, her wow. handwriting and yeah. everything. And one of my aunts was nice enough to give me copies. And she made a lot of bread. Flan. I don't know if you know what chongos are. No. They're from Zamora. It's kind of like they make them out of like the milk after the, the, the top layers. It's like the skin. Uh-huh. They remove it and they make chongos with sugar and they oh, use okay. churn, churn, churn. Mm -hmm. And they turn into like almost, they look like when you cook egg yolks, but they're delicious. Yeah. They're like sweet. Uh -huh. And she would make those. She would make everything from scratch, like mermeladas, yeah. cajeta, everything, everything from that, scratch. That's the candy, right? Cajeta? The, the butterscotch. Oh, butterscotch. Yeah. yeah. She would hide it because my <laughs> grandfather liked that. So she wouldn't give that to us, yeah. but we'd go in with it's the too spoon. Too sweet for him. And yeah, so um, I try a lot of her recipes yeah. and I love it because, you know, they're original recipes right. for her because she was a, my grandma was a chef de Alta Cocina. So she, that's a high end. Yeah. Yeah. And she, the Sancocho from this book, she, it's also her own recipe. That's a custom book right there too. Yeah. Right? My sister made it and that's it cool. was like us, you know. I don't know if you could see this, but it was all like doing the recipe. Uh -huh. And and I know some of these pictures are on your in, on the internet too, right? Yeah. On, on, on and this is what we used to, this was a, like is that an, an old, old school cook? Dang. Cuisinart by hand, <laughs> you know, and it was my grandfather's yeah. and, you know, I'm going to say that I took it, borrowed it. Yeah. Keeping it, what do they call it, for safe, it's safe never keeping. Going back. Safe keeping. And my grandma, that was her original recipe. And if you go to Sawayo, mm -hmm. everybody makes it. Yeah. You know, the Sancocho. Mm -hmm. And it was her recipe. Like, she made it up. 
Oh, wow. You know. That dish she made up. Yeah. Oh, shit. And it's, the sancocho is based off, like, it's a vinaigrette, like, bitter, like, sweet and sour. Uh Uh-huh. And it goes on your flautas, your tacos, your enchiladas. So it's like a sauce. Yeah. Okay. And it's delicious. Sancocho. Yeah. Can they? Can people Google that right now and it'll come up? They probably can. Damn, that's yeah. a trip, huh? Yeah. It, it's got um, carrots, jicama, um, zucchini, and what else? Onions, jalapenos. And what else does it have besides the zucchini? It's got some secrets that you guys yeah. don't even know about. So chayote, some chayote. Chayote is, a, is one of those underrated vegetables, man. I love chayote. I love chayote. I love it, man. On a, in a caldo, it's not you know cooked really nice and it's kind of soft, but you know not that not that soft, but not you know. Yeah. Oh, I love I love chayote. And if you cook one with the without peeling it or anything, you just boil it in water with salt, and then at the end you just peel it and you add lemon salt and chili. Yeah. And you eat it like that, it's delicious. Mm. I do one of these things where I just grab it and just yeah, get like the, the seed in the middle. Yeah, I love the seed. Oh man, that chow is good. Yeah. Oh, uh, so after all this right here, like the the Bible and everything, that you, and you guys, you almost perfected the dish, right? Like you say, because I, I can't imagine you doing every single recipe there. Have you done no. anything? Okay, yeah. But the ones that you have done, have you made any your own? Like, let me change it up a little bit and do it my style. Some of them I have. Yeah. Um. I like to like, like for instance, let's say the cookies. Yeah. I knew how to make them, but I watched like seven YouTube channels mm-hmm. of cookies, oatmeal, co- chocolate oatmeal. And from there, I go, okay, now I'm going to just tweak it and do it and make it my own. Your own style. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, and they came out really good. Mm. Now, you know, I don't know if you, um, are you allowed to call it your own if you're copying it off somebody else? I think if you remix it, you can, you can call you know, it your but own. But if you tweak it, now yeah, it's yours. Of course, it's your own. Yeah. yeah. So those, and those, I was going to put it on my YouTube channel. And my sister's like, no, don't give out that recipe. Oh, yeah. You know? And so I sell those as well. I make them and I sell them. And they're really, they sell really good. Yeah. People love them. Yeah. I'm sure like uh, during the holidays, like, they're probably a big hit, right? They are this um, for Valentine's and Christmas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had Did- a guy ordered like 15 dozens. And then, you know, every time he'd eat a bag, he would tag me that he's eating another bag. I'm like, yeah. you know, well, did good, it, thank didn't you. Didn't you also do, like, some strawberries? I made the, Day? yeah, oh, I made okay. boxes. I made the, like, the Oreo, the covered, the Oreo cookie yeah. covered in chocolates. Uh-huh. And I made um, the chocolate strawberries. And then I made them into, like, hearts yeah. and everything. So you just, little uh, Jack, or not a Jack, it would be a Jane of all trades. A Jane of all trades. Nice. My grandma did a lot of that too. Yeah. You know, my one of my aunts saw them and called me and she goes, you know, um, we have a room still with a lot of your grandma's stuff. Yeah. And I'm going to go in there because we have the molds that she used that were made out of cast. Yeah. Oh, you know? shoot. Yeah. From back then, I go, I want them, yeah. you know. Of course, they're my, you know. You wish that you were young enough to go back and grab them. Yeah. You know, but right, right, right. you don't know any better until you get older and you start learning and you start thinking. The appreciation of it, of it right? Yeah. yeah. Of just going to her house and watching her cook, you know, and it wasn't no Cuisinart, no mixers, nothing. It was all by hand. Yeah. Well, it's all custom, right? Like you would think it, it's all custom molds yeah. that they had to create. You know, when she told me they were cast molds, I was, oh, I want them. Yeah. That's you know, so that's really good, you know, and. And my mom, my mom, um, a lot of her sisters and my mom, they all cook really, really good. Mm-hmm. So you guys are just a family of, of chefs. All of them, of even the men. Yeah. All oh, the yeah? men, all the men cook. A lot of them, their wives didn't cook, so they would cook because mm-hmm. the wives didn't know how to cook. Yeah. So they would, um, they would cook. Or I have uncles that own the billards. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like mm-hmm. in Mexico, they're huge, so they give a lot of botana yeah. appetizers. Uh-huh. Where I'm from, they. When you come to my house, you're going to see a lot of botana. Oh, yeah. You That's know, I'm going to fill you up with botanas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, but you better leave That's room smart for the right night. there. Yeah. That's a smart host. <laughs> You know, but that's what they do in, we're, I'm from Sawayo, Michoacan, so that's mm. what they do there, you yeah. know. You go there and you're going to love it because everybody's nice to you. Everybody's going to feed you, you know, and the food is great. Yeah. I think that's like the best host is the ones that have the right drinks and the right food, right, when yes. you arrive. Of so, course. So I apologize I didn't have food, but. No, that's fine. I, I knew you, you were some. bringing some, so. Yeah. <laughs> when we go to visit, you yeah. know, 
and they do the siesta. Mm-hmm. So they oh, yeah, siesta. Yeah, they they open from ten to two, mm-hmm. and then from four to seven. So from two to four, everybody they close down the town. Everybody goes home st- to eat, mm-hmm. and they take a siesta, and then they go back to work at wow. four. Yeah. So during that time, sometimes we would take naps, and then you would just hear my dad whistle at us, and we'd come down the stairs, and the 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 um, table was already dripped with food and our tequila shots ready. Nice. You know, so it's always good yeah. to go back home. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a trick to that. I think I heard that in Spain, they still do that. They still do it. Yeah. Yeah. That, and that's smart. Me, you know, it, can you imagine just two hours to just like take a break? You know, I know that everybody gets work. an hour lunch, an hour lunch, but or half an hour. Two hours is great. I think two hours is awesome. You get to go home and you shower, you eat, yeah. or you rest, and you go back and you have energy to go back. Start and all over this. again. Yeah. Because what happens when, like, you know, you take that one hour or the half hour lunch, and then you go back to work and you're sluggish. Those last four hours are like, are like the hell. worst. They're death. Yeah. That's smart. I think the U.S. needs to adopt that, but they won't. They sure. They won't. Yeah, they won't. They won't. You know. We're slaves here. Come on. Let's face it. <laughs> and Sawayo does look like an old, small Italy town. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? There's a lot of traditions in Sawayo. Yeah. When you said you make your own pasta, that's what I thought. Like, you're making, like, your old, like, oh, I pa- like sell your, like, bags of pasta. Because I'm like, can you imagine, like, homemade pasta as opposed well, to, like, the he store He did give ones. me a pasta maker. Oh, yeah? You know, but there I still go. haven't had time to, like... You know, I see Gordon Ramsay, thinner, yeah. thinner, thinner. <laughs> Am I ever gonna get it? Yeah, yeah. So, that'd be that'd be amazing, man. To, yeah. You know, start that. I think because especially nowadays, like people want everything fresh, right? Fresh, 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 fresh. Nobody wants to buy Organic. a bag of pasta over there. They, if you can make it fresh, oof. Yeah, I think um, I'll try that one yeah. one day. But you just gotta be able to value yourself, though, right? Price it the right way. Price it the right. Way. And That's not, what like, everybody tells not me. Not three ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but know your worth. Exactly. They tell me. Yeah. So uh, the inspiration of all this, obviously, we gather it's your family, right? You get it from your mom, grandmother, right? My grandmother. So that's how it all yes. started for you, everything. Everything. Yeah. That's where it comes from. And the love of cooking. And we were talking about earlier that before it was you had the children and everything and you have to do the cooking. Mm-hmm. So at that point, it wasn't as fun for me because it was like... You work, you come home, you have to cook, you have to wash, you have to do the cooking for the kids and everything and to figure out what you're going to make for the day. And now when I do it, it's just for fun. It's for myself. Mm -hmm. It's for like, you know, that's where I'm at peace. Yeah. You know, that's where I de-stress. I turn on my music and I cook, you know, um, if my husband's home, of course, you know, I cook for him. But I don't feel that pressure to do that. Oh, what am I going to make for dinner and yeah. everything? And now it's just for me, mm-hmm. you know, and I get to share it, you know, with everybody, all of the recipes and everything that I love. I want them to try them because I know that they're good. Yeah. You know, I know that I take them places and everybody loves it. Mm-hmm. So that's my inspiration. Like, try out my recipes, you know, don't underrate any of them. They're all delicious. You know, that's what I want them to know. Like, yeah try it do you think do you believe that um that that secret recipe you know or the secret ingredient at the end of the day is like the love that you put into your your dish or is that all bs no i think it's the love if you don't cook with love you know like they said love sweat and tears Mm -hmm. you know it's generic yeah you know you're not gonna have a good cooked meal like i go to restaurants and i taste the food and i'm like This is not even half of what I could make. Yeah. You know, we went to L.A., you know, the the alley. Yeah. With my sisters. Los Callejones. Yes. And there was a little puestecito and my sister's like, let's have flautas. They have chicken flautas. And they were terrible. You know, they don't even like there was no taste like the Just make it all quick. Let's go. The chicken, they just boil it with no salt and they just give it. It was they were horrible. Yeah. And I was like, no. So to to say that you have to cook with love and you put that in there, that works. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're going to give it your love, your sazon, your taste. You know, that's what you want people to taste when you offer them food. Mm -hmm. You know, that you made it, that you made it with love, that you understand what goes in there. Yeah. You know, I I didn't, I didn't, I've never really put too much thought into this, but uh, I don't, I, I didn't. I never do this on purpose. Like, I don't know that I'm doing this, but I just, I think I just realized why I do this. Every time I order like a dish, like let's say flautas, 
Um, I'll get the flauta and, I, and before I put sauce, anything in it, I try it first. Yeah. And then I go, mm, this is good. And then I start putting my toppings in it. But I never even thought about it. I wonder if I do that because I want to taste the actual, like when I when I get a steak, I don't put steak sauce on. I never put steak sauce on a steak. Thank I, you. Just He's steak. I love you for that. <laughs> <laughs> no steak, no steak sauce on a steak. It's it's, it's a steak. natural. If it's cooked it's right, steak. then it doesn't need steak it sauce. It doesn't need anything. Now, if I ever order steak sauce, it's because I don't like your steak. So if I'm at your house and I order and I say, "Give me some steak sauce," it's because your steak is dry. Yes. But um, that I think that kind of goes into it. So like your flauta is like. I'm sure they probably try to sell you on all the salsas, you know, hey, pon esto, pon esto. No, like, yeah, they give you everything, but... To mask the... The no flavor no chicken, flavor. Yeah. you know, and they just wrapped it up and they just put it in the the grease that they probably used for weeks. Yeah. And no, I want, if I'm going to give you something, I'm going to give you something that's correctly made, mm -hmm. you know. I could make the same uh, stuffing for the flauta, whether it's in chicken, shredded beef, pork, ground beef yeah. whatever but it's all has to have taste and it all has to be marinated yeah you know to taste right all of it this is a perfect segue to her la her latest video which is flautas right. chicken flautas <laughs> all right i don't know if you planned this or not but uh <laughs> check out the video because you can i can almost taste how good those flautas are yes. on that video so they're delicious they they really are yeah and i did make salsas for it but that's only because that's how they go. Yeah. You know, but you can have the fata by itself. You can eat taco after taco by itself and it's good. Yeah. No, no. When you see that video and you look at all the ingredients that you put into this chicken, you know, before it's not, like, watch the video. Trust me, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yes. But, well, um, it's been great. If you want to, if we're going to close up the show, how would you close up the show as in what's next for Fabi Gomez? For next for me, I think it's, uh, I'm going to try to um, start the catering. I want to open up something where you you go and you order food to go for your parties for your dinner that night you're gonna have friends over you know that um that you'll be able to provide for them what i'm cooking for you yeah you know and that way it's gonna take a lot of stress off of you and i think that's something that a lot of people don't have yeah you know that you can say okay i want a pound of of your flautas or I want beans and rice. I want um, the the garlic potatoes that I make that are also yeah. great. You know, I'm gonna take them. I want them to enjoy it. Yeah. You know, the you know, and to know that every time I make it, it's gonna be with love, and I want it. You know, to for you to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, to have that taste and say, oh yeah, they were great. Yeah. Well, I can't wait for you when you get started with that because. I know the next potluck that I go to, I'm not going to go buy anything. Because normally we know if we don't have time to make anything, we're just going to go buy like a pasta. No, so call me. I'm going to call you. I'm just going to get a homemade me, pasta. And say, hey, can me. you make me something? <laughs> for sure. I'm more than happy to make it. Yeah. And I'm already starting out with a lot of people that are asking me for them. The salsas are selling good. The cookies are a big hit. So, yeah, go ahead and shoot me a DM at yeah. Fabulosity. And I'll be more than happy to um, do it for them, of course. There you go. Well, I'll make sure to put all the information down below in the comments. So you guys could check it out or actually do comment. And let us know what you guys thought about it. Make sure you follow her YouTube channel, which, again, I'll post down below in the description. And subscribe. And subscribe and uh, and enjoy the videos. And and yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank for, you. For Thank you for having here. me. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. All right, you guys. Take care. That's it. We're out of here. Bye.